Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you uh, with the second Psycho Sid video of the day. Um, I, I talked about this match in the very beginning of my Undertaker versus uh, um, Sid WrestleMania 13 video. And talked about how the Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania, like the build up, like, the, the, like I mean, these days you watch like the, the last Raw before WrestleMania uh, the last SmackDown before WrestleMania, you know you're going to see um, the main event. You just don't. You, you just know they ain't gonna get in the match and and wrestle. They're they're not gonna give anything away for free. They've already got your money because it's WrestleMania. You're gonna get like a tug of war over the uh, WWE Championship, a lot like how before WrestleMania 31, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns did. The one go-home Monday Night Raw that I remember more than anything else is this episode from 1997. This is the uh, March 17th, uh, 17, 1997. Uh, at least when I pulled it up on Peacock, um, the easiest way to find it. You're not going to want to go to the episode that has the uh, thumbnail with this match in it. You're actually going to want to watch the one before with 31797 date. Uh, you'll be able to see that like uh, Jerry the King Lawler and ECW has two thumbnails in a row. And then the steel cage match between Brett and Sid um, is, is listed on the one, abo uh, the one above. Don't click that one. Just just click the, the 317, I promise you. Um, because because I just did it and, and it found out that was the Raw after WrestleMania, where Brett starts this whole uh, anti uh, uh, America, you know, pro Germany, pro pro UK, pro uh, Canada, um, whole deal where he's starting his his gimmick against against uh, Shawn Michaels. Um, this match honestly comes up out of the middle of nowhere. Um, you know, they, they say that there's a whole lot of controversy surrounding this match, that Sid is going to put the WWF Championship on the line against Bret Hart in the main event of Monday Night Raw right before WrestleMania when Undertaker has already promised a uh, championship shot um, that weekend at the, at the big show. There's a good chance of Sid, uh, I guess the chance is that if Sid loses this match, uh, the championship won't be on the line. They'll just have a normal Sid versus Undertaker match, which I think a lot of people would like to see. But the main draw of that is, is the championship. Um, Gorilla Monsoon says that he's been in uh, meetings all day long, didn't really plan it being at this Monday Night Raw, but he was pulled in because of so many calls of people complaining, uh, different Undertaker fans. I thought he was talking about the wrestlers complaining, but he was actually talking about fans were calling in uh, to the offices of WWE to talk to Gorilla Monsoon, um, saying that this was unfair. And you can really see the foretelling by them mainly saying that it's Undertaker fans feel like that he's getting screwed by not getting the championship shot. Uh, but here we have, uh, in the Monday Night Raw main event, right before WrestleMania, we have Sid and Bret Hart in the old school blue cage for the championship. Um, and they're, and they're battling out. This, this is a really fun match. It only gets more fun as it goes along. Um, to me, honestly, most people won't think that the Attitude Era starts for six months to a year. Maybe some people say WrestleMania 14. By that time, like, DX is already going strong. I, I, I don't know the date off the top of my head when DX really starts running uh, DX to me, Shawn Michaels uh, and Triple H. That that is all, all the all time Attitude Era. They're doing the whole presidential speech and things like that. But this match, and oh, here comes Stone Cold Steve Austin in the after match with uh, Brett and and uh, Vince, uh, basically having their standoff and and, and um, Brett saying this is bullshit, and he shoves Vince. Um, I, I, to me, honestly, to hear somebody on the mic, not like just get picked up by a, a camera somewhere, but like by yelling into the microphone, this is bullshit, and just talks about getting screwed um, by the man, and everybody's trying to hold him down. To me, honestly, that is like the forefront of the Attitude Era. That was the first moment as I was a kid, I was watching like, oh, it's it's changing a little bit. Like we've never been like this. We're not, you know, talking about taking our vitamins and saying our prayers and drinking our milk with Hulkamania. Uh, they're they're trying to find something to fight the NWO. 
um, which was running strong at this time in 1997. But um, as, as Vince, I'm sorry, as uh, Vince is at ringside, but as Sid and Brett are fighting on the outside, uh, Sid made his way towards the door as Brett was down. And Stone Cold Steve Austin came running out of the, the back. He punched uh, Sid. Um, you know, Sid and Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, you know, they're, they're, they're not friendly. I mean, I don't think they've ever been in the ring. I can't remember them having a match at some point. But, um, you know, he, 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 he punches Sid, keeps him in there. Uh, so he can't win the match. I think what he mainly wants is like right now he's a little bit conflicted because Stone Cold Steve Austin wants him to beat Bret Hart. He's cheering for him to hit the power bomb, but as Bret is down in the ring and Sid's trying to climb up, Austin has climbed to the top of the cage and he's punching Sid, giving him the workovers, trying to make sure that Sid isn't able to climb out of this match. Now Sid and Stone Cold are fighting at the top of the cage. Austin's almost fallen out. He's got his boots and his leg wrapped around the top of the cage. Oh, I, mean, I, I love cage matches these days, but the old school blue cage back in the day, that was real. I mean, I, I guess, you know, I understand that people say that it, it's bad for watching the action in the ring. It's hard to get a good shot um, when you're on the main camera uh, back because you're just seeing so much of the cage. You can't really see what's going on on the inside, but... As far as like cage matches and, and believing that the you know the, the shit going down in there hurts, I understand. You know when you when you fall off hell in the cell, or you know you take that bump off on the uh, the ramp around the elimination chamber, that's gonna hurt. But the, that thing looks like it really hurts. <laughs> you get hit by that thing, there ain't no way to to, to to fake it. But you got Brett and you've got Austin. Working over on Sid on the top of the cage. And here comes Undertaker out of the back. He's got a title shot come Sunday at WrestleMania 14. And he doesn't want, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Brett to take that away from him. So he's up there. He's punching Brett. He's punching Austin. You've got four guys fighting on the top of the cage right now. All trying to get position to make sure that they have a shot to win it. Undertaker's, <laughs> he's, Undertaker's punching all three guys. He's punching... He's punching Brett. He's punched Sid. He's definitely punched Austin. Uh, he's just trying to make this a fair fight inside of the ring. Oh, this is awesome. All four of them. Austin just fell down off the top. He's been hit, he's been hit down. He's been taking too much. And now Brett's got a, a suplex. Sid out of the corner inside of the ring. So Sid's down. Brett's definitely still down. But Undertaker's at the top of the cage. Is he going to be a baby face now and say, like, hey, if, if Brett beats him, he beats him? Oh, but Austin's got a chair. He's hiding at the ring counselor. He just kicked Austin. In the, or he's, uh, Austin's kicked Undertaker in the gut. Now he's hit him right in the head uh, with a chair. He's giving him the boots on the outside. Austin versus Undertaker, we wouldn't see this match uh, until, well, I guess they had the match along the way, but the big match would be uh, SummerSlam 99, uh, Highway to Hell. Um, Sid's trying to climb out of the cage. Brett's looking around. He doesn't really know what to go with. Brett's, Brett's making it towards the door. He thinks he's got it. Uh, he's got his feet right there. He's lifting his hands up like this. Oh, and Undertaker just slammed it. Right on his face as Sid's climbing down the opposite side. Sid's hit the uh, the floor. Sid's won the match. <coughs> he won. He, he won it mostly because of Undertaker on the outside. Uh, but it wasn't like you know Austin wasn't trying to help out Brett along the way. But that really is a real fun match um, to, to 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 hype you up for WrestleMania. I know you're not really seeing the match that you're going to be paying to see on the weekend. But as far as like getting something for free, just just to hype you up for WrestleMania, this was damn cool. Um, Sid's supposed to be the heel. <coughs> <coughs> Clapping every hand, hugging kids along the way. I'm talking about a guy that just like was misunderstood. I think he always thought he was a good guy. He's giving people the fist bumps before fist bumps were even cool. He's walking out of there saying he's the man. He's holding the championship high. He's... <laughs> he's bumping people and uh brett's down in the ring he took one hell of a door uh, you know from the cage 
a shot right to the face. I didn't really see him get his hands up um, to block it. So he's selling that. But um, like I said, the uh, post-match interview with Brett um, is the one thing really to see. Uh, in a moment, they're going to start taking the cage down. Oh, they're going to commercial. We don't have another commercial here on Peacock. So it's just going to you know, skip forward a couple minutes. But Brad is kind of came to his senses, and he's looking around, but he's, he's taking a knee in inside the ring. Um, and and they're, they're back from commercial now. They're, they're trying to sell us electronic karate fighters right now. And them flipping around. They're showing highlights from the match. There's the uh, chair shot on The Undertaker from Austin. And there's the, uh, the door shutting on, on Brett. Uh, oh, he's hanging on to the door. He's hanging on to the door. The Undertaker didn't really hit him with the door. Uh, he was he was hanging on the door and got slammed back into the ring uh, when the when the door shut. But the cage is halfway down. Um, you, you, there's no cage going to the exit. There's no cage television side. But they they're not taking it down anymore. And Vince is inside of the ring, and right away, there he is. This is bullshit. <laughs> and Vince is like, fuck this. I'm out of here. We know from Wrestling with Shadows that they told him to say this. And he even asked him, like, you want me to say whatever I want to say? I can cuss? And they're like, yeah, push the envelope as much as you can. Make it believable. Uh, because, you know, Brett's going to show up. Uh, three times he shows up at the very beginning he comes and uh in into the match twice as it's going along during the wrestlemania main event um taking shot at sid he sets up the finish of the match um he's just I, I mean he he just really thinks he's wronged and you can see him yelling at uh at vince he, i don't know man if if brett wouldn't have left and he would have stayed i mean it would have been Really hard for, for him to work with Sean. That was one of the main problems they had. But then again, Sean gets injured at the Royal Rumble. And that's really the last we see of him. Brett wouldn't have his big injury until like 2000. Uh, that's when like the uh, concussion problem happened. And then that led to him having the stroke, I believe, in 2001. Um Maybe it's just a different trajectory, and maybe they could have done Brett versus McMahon, and Austin never would have got that feud, which was the the big push of like WrestleMania fourteen a year later. I mean, they're laying pipe work for it right now. Um, as uh, Brett Brett's asking for a fight with Austin, who just came on the thing, but Sid's making his way down right now. It's just crazy. Watching this, you would think it's going to be a fatal four-way for the championship come WrestleMania. Brett's taking down the singlet. He says no fucking around. Uh, here comes Undertaker coming back out of the back. And he's like, hey, if you guys are going to fight, I'm going to fight. If I'm Undertaker, I just let Sid go fight it out. Oh, and Brett just took a dive out onto the Undertaker. He wants to beat up everybody. I don't even know... Why Undertaker and Brett have a feud, unless it's just uh, you're getting the title shot and I'm not. Uh, now Austin comes down. Austin doesn't want any beef with the Undertaker, but he's like, if the Undertaker's gonna beat up on Brett, I'm gonna beat up on him too. You know, Brett and Austin are fighting outside of the ring now. Undertaker and Sid are fighting inside of the ring. We never see anything like this on the uh, the Go Home Show to WrestleMania. Um, this is freaking awesome. Plus, you got to give mad respect to the body glove uh, elbow pad that Sid always had on. I mean, it's probably the only elbow pad he ever had in his, his whole career. The day, the day he started, the day he retired, he, he still had the same one. Putting the boots to Undertaker in the corner. Undertaker just took a shot at Gerald Briscoe, trying to get everybody out of the ring. Now he's going back to beating up on Sid. We've got Pat Patterson trying to break up the Austin versus Brett fight on the outside. We've got referees flooding the ring trying to break this up, trying to just make it make it wait till Sunday, make it wait till Sunday. This is 
entertaining. This is awesome. This is what wrestling's about, and this is kind of one of the things that, you know, there's no more pay-per-views, so you're not having to pull that wallet out. You already know that you're paying the five bucks for Peacock each and every month, so any pay-per-view that comes along. But, I mean, like, if TKO's going to change anything in the foreseeable future, I hear this and that about the Netflix deal. If they ever go back to pay-per-view, they need something like this to get you going. Like, man, if they're doing this on Raw, I got to see what happens at WrestleMania. Because, I mean, Brett and Austin are tangled up on the outside. Uh, Undertaker and Sid are about to choke slam each other at the same time in the ring. The referee's down. There's one ref in the ring. He's acting like he's calling the match. He's not even trying to break it up. Um, they're basically just saying if you're going to fight, you're going to fight. This is nuts. WWF 1997, tell me who did it better. I remember as a fan, I would flip over and I would watch Nitro and I would root for the NWO, but you know, deep down, I always knew I was a WWF guy and I just wanted them. What the hell is he doing? Shawn Michaels just came out to the ramp. He's not getting involved in the action, but he's just looking around at like the chaos that he created with the whole like, I lost my smile thing. This guy's commentating during the main event, but he's like looking at Brett and Austin fighting there with a little smirk on his face. I mean, if, if you got your smile back, get in the ring. WrestleMania really needs you. I mean, I read that read that card on the last video, and it wasn't the greatest card of all time. But um, I don't know, man. This is awesome. Now, he just passed by Brett and Austin fighting on the ground there in the thing. And he just made his way down. He's taking pieces of the Steel's cage. <laughs> like he's, he act, I think he was picking it up because I think he thought he was going to hit him. But now he's getting into the ring. His Undertaker and Sid fight their way out. What is Sean even doing? He's just trying to be there without being involved. Now he's taking his watch off and he's grabbing a steel chair. Sean's gonna act like he's tough. That's it. Everybody's fighting up the ramp now. Now Austin's gonna, or I'm sorry, no, Sean's gonna chase them up the ramp. Is there, they're gone? Yeah. I don't know what Sean was doing there. Sean really did a whole lot of nothing, but. That was fun. That was entertaining. If I if I could right now, I'd pick the phone up, call Comcast, and order WrestleMania 14. I love that freaking match. I watch that all the fucking time.